Bluebook, we frequently like to gather up vehicles from a select category and make them fight for our love and amusement. Hmm, that sounds more sadistic than intended, but you get the gist. The goal is to see how competitive vehicles compare, and there's no better way to do so than drive them back to back to back. Our latest effort focuses on compact sedans. In terms of pure sales volume, the compact segment is huge, with only mid-sized vehicles selling in larger numbers. So yeah, lots of people are buying compact cars. Understandably so. They're cheap, efficient, and increasingly refined. For this comparison, we took six popular compact sedans, including the Ford Focus, Honda Civic, Kia Forte, Mazda 3, Nissan Sentra, and Toyota Corolla, and drove them hundreds of miles along coastal California near San Diego. We also subjected the group to our usual barrage of interior, technology, trunk space, and ergonomic tests. After abundant scrutiny, here's what we think about each. The Ford Focus is a bit small inside and can be expensive, but it looks sharp and handles well. Those last two traits make it a welcome counterpoint to the more sedate slash responsible Nissan Sentra and Toyota Corolla. But with a new for 2014 Mazda 3 in the mix, the Focus has fallen a notch on the fun scale. An updated Focus is due for 2015, but until then, the roomier and more comfortable Mazda 3 would be our choice for a stylish and dynamic compact. The Honda Civic has always been an easy choice, and it still is. Handsome, efficient, comfortable, and easy to drive, the Civic can be had in a variety of styles, including a hybrid, coupe, and sporty SI trim. It also offers some very cool technology, most notably Honda's Lane Watch blind spot monitoring system. There are roomier choices, and there are more visceral choices, but the Civic occupies a sweet spot in the compact field. For you Goldilocks types, consider the Civic your perfect bowl of porridge. You might be surprised to learn that this Kia Forte EX trim was the most expensive car in our test. A $10,000 premium on top of the Forte's base price might seem ridiculous, but we have to applaud a compact car that indulges its occupants with heated leather seats front and rear, a ventilated driver's seat, and a very well-sorted infotainment system. Take all the goodies out of the equation, and the Forte still boasts a big usable trunk, generally pleasant road manners, though the steering feel is unimpressive, and thanks to a 2-liter engine that comes on EX trims, the most horsepower in our test. The Kia Forte is certainly worthy of consideration, just be careful with that option sheet. The Mazda 3 has ranked among Kelly Blue Book's 10 coolest cars under $18,000 for all 11 years we've assembled the list. Based on our time with the new third generation Mazda 3, we expect that trend to continue for the foreseeable future. Not only does the Mazda 3 look cool, but in our group of six, it's easily the most fun to drive. Fun sometimes comes with baggage, but that's not really the case with the Mazda 3. Yes, the ride is firmer than some of its competitors, but it's still more than acceptable. And sure, more trunk and rear seat legroom would be nice, but excellent fuel economy, a tasteful upscale interior, and an infotainment system seemingly nabbed from a more expensive car all serve to enhance the Mazda's already charming character. In bold contrast to the Mazda 3, we have the Nissan Sentra. It's not fun or particularly stylish, but that's not necessarily a problem. For drivers who just want a roomy, comfortable, and cheap car, the Nissan Sentra could be the perfect choice. Starting at less than $17,000, including destination, the Sentra is easy to drive, returns around 40 miles per gallon on the freeway, and features a trunk and back seats worthy of a mid-sized sedan. Complaints include heavy steering, a bit too much hard plastic inside, and the previously mentioned lack of excitement. But those shortcomings aside, the Sentra is the way to go if you want an Ultima-like experience at an entry-level price. It took 11 generations, but the traditionally conservative Toyota Corolla now qualifies as stylish. Congrats, Corolla! Kelly Blue Book's editors generally liked the new exterior design, but the interior was more polarizing. Even so, the Corolla earned praise for its impressively roomy rear seats, straightforward infotainment system, smooth highway ride, strong resale values, and long history of dependability. Negatives include one of the louder interiors in the group and the absence of a rear center armrest or sliding sun visors. 
taken as a whole, the Curl of Faithful should find lots to enjoy with this latest iteration. Okay, so that's the high-level overview of our compact comparison, a much more thorough breakdown of our findings, along with comparisons between each car and its five competitors, can be found at kbb.com. Even if the era of truly terrible cars is behind us, it's still wise to understand your options. The team here at Kelly Blue Book is happy to help you do just that.